The next piece of equipment I'd like to talk about is the reel, the fly reel. Now, like fly rods, reels have come a long, long way. Old reels were, were heavy. Um, they did not have a good drag system. These new reels are very, very different from that. Now, fly reels have three functions as well. First function is to store the line. The second function is to retrieve the line. And the third function is to provide drag, like so. Now, fly reels today are made out of one of two things. They're, they're made out of cast aluminum or they're, or they're made out of machined aluminum. Now, cast aluminum means so the aluminum is melted and it's poured into a mold and then that mold is taken off and you have a casted reel versus taking a chunk of aluminum and machining it, which means it's going to be more precision, but it also means it's going to be very expensive. So, um, and I highly recommend cast reels because they have there are so many of them on the market and they're, and they're very, very good. So as an example of fly reels of old and of new, I have a variety of, of reels here. Um, just to show you some of the differences, for instance, this is one of my newer, this is one of my newer reels. I also use a reel similar to this one for saltwater fishing. This is a very light, um, very nice drag, um, just a very quality uh, fly reel. These two reels, as an example, are, if you put these two in your hand, you will easily notice the difference. This is an old metal reel. Uh, can't even tell you how long I've had this reel and this reel. Um, that reel's got a uh, two-weight or three-weight line in it, so uh, we've had it around a long time. And even though it's smaller, it's heavier than this one because it's made of metal. Um, I have another example here of a, of a really nice light, um, light made reel. The other thing I think that's important about reels is, so let's talk about the, in, in its arbor. So reels, are usually a uh, single action, one-to-one -one ratio. Now what that means is for every, for every turn on the handle, for every turn on the handle, the arbor turns once with it. So it's a one-to-one -one ratio. That's called single action ratio. Now, today, fly reels are made with large arbors. You can buy a large arbor reel. Now the arbor is the center of the reel, which if you think about it, if you expand the arbor, then for every turn you make, more line is going to be wrapped. So large arbor reels are more of a one to one and a half um, ratio for retrieving. Now, to be honest with you, I have a large arbor reel and I don't know that I can notice really when I'm fishing and we're in the middle of the action. I don't know that I notice it that much, but um, I think it's important to note that you can get a large arbor reel and that, and that reels are generally a one-to-one -one single action um, reel. Now, that being said, when we talk about fly reels and setting them up, and I start talking about lines and why we use um, backing, we'll get back to this whole concept about, about the ratio between uh, your um, arbor and your turn. Now, with a reel, the most important thing that, in my mind, that has changed with fly reels is the drag system. So the old system in fly reels was called a click ball type drag system, which is more of a gear related thing. 
The new drag systems in these reels are disc drags. So like your car, you know, it's like so. It's a disc drag. So as you tighten it, it tightens around a disc. And they are wonderful. So when you're fighting a bigger fish, you will be happy that you have a really good, um, a really good drag system. Now again, um, these reels can vary quite a bit in cost. $30, I've seen $500 fly reels. Now I'm pretty sure that's a machined reel. But again, the same manufacturers that I mentioned for rods um, all have a beginner type um, fly reel which you can get independently or you can get it in the combo. So again, we're talking about the Reddington, like this one. Um, we're talking about the Cabela Bighorn, the TFO, the Echo, and the Clearwater, um, the Orbis Clearwater. So any of those would be a really good choice to start off your fly fishing.